tonight is the golden girl of Australian television, having won four gold logies for her work on Blue Healers. She's about to appear in a new TV series called Reef Doctors while appearing on stage in South Pacific and preparing for the role of Simone Warren in Shane Warne the Musical. She's the hardest working woman in show business. She's Lisa McCune. <laughs> We have a trio of Catholics here tonight. Oh, look at that. What was your experience of Catholic school like? I only went, I went to a Catholic school uh, for one year and then I was taken out. after I lost a bit of hair. I think I asked a question Did and you? lost a bit of hair. Torn but from your head. It was. I might have been asking a few too oh, many questions. But, you know, so that was, that was that experience. But no, great. But I mean, who pulled like the hair that. from your head? I think one of the nuns. But, oh, it, right. but it was all Maybe she wanted it for a fringe. <laughs> Maybe. <Yeah. laughs> And now you're on fire at the moment professionally. Oh, you... Really? I've been actually having some quite nice time at home for the last couple of weeks, but preparing to be busy, which is good. Well, you've just finished. Are you still doing South Pacific? South Pacific goes back to the Opera House uh, this September. So yep. we start in Perth and possibly somewhere else. And then uh, and Shane Warne's starting next week with Eddie Perfect. So, And it was great talking to the Tripod Boys because they've been working with Eddie. Oh, yeah, and he's right. fantastic. So that'll be lots of fun to tackle that. How do you prepare to play Simone Warne? Well, I've, I've started with the music. I thought I'll learn everything first. And I, I might even try and catch Simone in the next week and leave her a note and see if she'd like to catch up for coffee. Because it would be when you, it's kind of difficult playing someone. I always find playing someone's actually... Um, a little bit, you've got a little bit more responsibility when that person is still walking around. I've only ever done mm. it twice. This will be the second time. And, you know, you don't have as much, I don't think you've got as much freedom to just go for it. You, there are certain kind of parameters. So I'll have a chat to Eddie and see if he minds if I catch up with Simone. I'd call her. I wouldn't text her. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll take that. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> how, do you, how do you get out of character? At the end of the day, you've been, especially if you're playing a particularly harrowing scene, what do you do on the way home to get yourself out of that, that place? I think that I've only had a few occasions like that, but I think having kids is, a, is great because you kind of walk in the front door and you just have to go back to life because there's no, you know, you kind of can't ignore that. Yeah. So that, that for me has been really lovely, having that part of my life keeping my headspace busy. There is something about changing a dirty nappy that gets you out of character really quickly. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And not sleeping. I think I've only just, after the three kids, I think I'm just finally starting to get mm. a, a good night's sleep now. So yeah, that's, right. you know, you're so sleep deprived and hazy all that time. You can't say that to a kid at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I've got to be on stage tomorrow. <laughs> no, I think I've had a few chats to them, but they don't really get it. <laughs> just kind of <laughs> blankly. Do you have any idea how many gold logies are above mm. your cot, Oh, kid? now there's a story. I actually, the kids actually took some gold logies last year to school and I went to pick them up. They each got to take one to school and I came back and one was wobbling on the base. That had been thrown down the slide and one had been into the staff room and so they're all kind of, they've all had a bit of a life, my Logies. They've been finally dragged out and put on a shelf and, and being used, which I think they should be used. They should be. Yeah. Must be lovely to have them. <laughs> <laughs> now, like Kate in the audience, you started young at like 15, is that right? Was that your first performance? Uh, yeah, I kind of, I was doing some repertory theatre in Perth. Yeah, mm -hmm. some from WA. Yeah, so I did, I think, um, The Wizard of Oz. A right. couple of plays. Guy McKenna. You know Guy McKenna, coach of the, the Suns, the Gold Coast Suns? Mm -hmm. Right. I did a play with him at high school. I have photographs Is that of what him. he called it? <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to ask you about something I read about you on Wikipedia. Oh, here we go. Yep. Okay. Apparently you, did you or did you not appear in a film called Body Melt? I did. Okay. Is this bit true? Mm hmm Your heavily pregnant character was attacked by a ferocious placenta before dying from an exploding stomach. <laughs> yep, and they, my, it was my character's placenta and then I think the placenta after it killed my character then killed Brett Cli Climo, uh, his character, he was my husband. It jumped on him and then killed him. <laughs> you should have seen my audition for that film. That was funny. I wonder if that tapes around because I actually had to do the audition on the phone where I was being killed by my placenta. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, uplifting stuff. What drew you to that role? <laughs> I think, you know, young actor, straight out of drama school, <laughs> job. <laughs> OK, we've got the footage. Oh, great. I actually bought it at a video shop the other, um, about, oh, probably about a year and a half ago. It was at my, it was at my local Video Easy. Yep. And it was in the bargain bin and I thought, I've got to buy that to show the kids. It's amazing, but oh. here's the problem. <laughs> we, actually, we actually can't get permission oh, no. to show you the clip at home. I do mean to do it here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
it, it was actually quite amazing. It, it was quite an incredible film, actually, because William McGuinness was in it and yeah. there was lots of really interesting people that Philip Brophy, the director, had cast. It was quite an amazing film to work on. Well, I tell you what, we can't show the people at home. We can't, oh, we can't okay. show this on TV. What we it. can do, though, is show it to the people in the studio and everyone at home can just watch the reactions of us. Oh, as okay. well. <laughs> Uh, are you ready for this, everyone? Yeah. Okay, look at your nearest monitor. This is the scene. Okay. <laughs> that is Lisa screaming, jumping on the bed. Clearly, the placenta has taken over her stomach. It's growing. There was a man under the bed, and he was actually, um, but Peter's... Oh. Grabbing a knife. Mother of Jesus. And thankfully stopped. Oh. Stopped by her partner, but then we'll just keep an eye on this. Oh, oh God. <laughs> this is some of the most. For those of you at home. This is fantastic. There's a placenta on his face. If you're watching at home, there is a placenta. Oh. Lisa's, oh stomach, Lisa's stomach just exploded. Oh. Greg Climo has a mouthful of placenta. Like, that was, a, that was a calm part of the film. I think there's some other pretty outrageous yeah. stuff in it. But, but, but it's worth getting out, I think. You know, I mean, Saturday night with the kids, I think I'll... Oh, no. <laughs> this won't surprise you, the entire film is on YouTube. Yes. Go. Uh, it's called Body Melt. I thoroughly recommend it. Now, listen, look, the last thing I want to ask you about is that you did, you did start early. Uh, similar age to Kate over here, who we've already spoken about, who's in a, a new band called uh, right. 50 O'Shea's of Grey. Oh. Uh, <laughs> do you have any advice for someone starting out at such a tender age? I do everything. Do everything? Get out there, have a mm. go, have fun, yep. work with everybody. Sometimes take a path that you didn't think that you were going to take. Denise? Um, yeah, like I remember saying to my son when he said, How do you? get started in the music business, because he's a muso now, and I said, I wouldn't have a clue, but there's one, <laughs> well, I didn't, but there's one thing I do know, and this is it, at some point you have to get up off the couch. <laughs> and, <laughs> and really, that's about it, I reckon. You just get out there and you do it. Isn't, aren't I amazing, really? Yeah. I, I made that up myself.